Target 12 investigators are learning new details about the proposal to turn the iconic Superman building in downtown Providence into hundreds of apartments. The big question, how much will it cost to live there and will Providence residents be able to afford it? Target 12 investigator Steph Machado is live in studio now with what we know. Steph? Well, state officials say a chunk of the apartments in the new Superman building will be designated as affordable, but that word means something different to different people, and some say there should be more affordable units. The massive development deal for the Industrial Trust Building, better known as the Superman Building downtown, will include roughly 285 apartments in the former bank and office tower. I think it's fairly unprecedented for 20% of the units to be set aside for affordable housing. So what does affordable mean? According to the preliminary agreement signed Tuesday, 57 apartments will be below market rate. 14 for those making 80% or less of the area median income. That's about $48,000 for a single person household. 14 units for 100% of AMI or about $60,000. And 29 units for up to 120% of AMI or $72,650. We asked what the rent would be for those residents. A spokesperson for the state's Commerce Department said Wednesday the goal is to make the rent 30% of the tenant's income, but said negotiations are ongoing. It's not enough, in my view, at least on the affordable level. Brenda Clement from Housing Works Rhode Island says the more dire need is in the lower income levels, but she says this project is a step in the right direction. The fact that we're building more units in general is a good thing. We've been underproducing units at all income levels for a long period of time. Melina Lodge from another advocacy group Housing Network Rhode Island points out state law defines affordable housing as below 80 percent of the area median income. Only 14 of Superman's units would fall under that. Commerce Secretary Stephen Pryor says the developer initially wanted even fewer affordable units, but the state pushed for more. Neither state leaders nor the developers of the building would say what the rest of the building's units would cost, only that the rent will be market rate. And this project is expected to get tens of millions of dollars in state, city, and federal money. The Rhode Island Republican Party sent out a statement today saying this is about a million taxpayer dollars per affordable unit. The GOP, call, the GOP calling that a waste of taxpayer dollars. With the Target 12 investigators, I'm Steph Machado, 12 News.